Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm giving you guys a recap on my goals for 2020 and boy oh boy what a year 2020 has been. So before I shared my new intentions with you guys like I have done on my channel for many years in the past for 2021, I felt it was necessary to do a little recap and a little bit of a reflection on 2020 and so that's what this video is going to be. Just a chatty sit down video where I cover my uh, list of goals that I shared with you guys in a video at the beginning of last year. I am going, th I went through them, uh, listened to them, chuckled at myself a little, um, and heard some, some interesting things that I don't find coincidental at all. Um, and so that is what I am here to do today. And then tomorrow on my channel, I will be sharing my 2021 intentions. So if you like goals and you like um, hearing about goals and goal setting and things like that, then these videos will be for you back to back. But let's get into the recap um, as I reflect upon 2020. So I think it goes without saying that 2020 was a challenging year for pretty much every human being on the planet Earth. And so I am not gonna spend a ton of time talking about why it was difficult for me um, or you know what things my family experienced. I am really focusing this video on um, taking it into a positive direction. And so the first thing that I want to just quickly share with you guys is that I do not feel 2020 was a wasted year. I I understand the silliness and the um, kind of like laughability to the memes of 2020 um, with all of the difficulty and the heartache and the stress and the fear and just all the things that we have faced this year. Uh, but I do not think that any day we are blessed to be alive and breathing is a waste. And I am not somebody that even in the midst of the chaos of this year, was ever feeling like, oh, I can't wait for this year to be over because, I mean, we just never know. <laughs> I mean, we all want to think that we're going to make it to 2021 and we're going to live through and we're going to have this amazing redemptive year um, in comparison to 2020, but there's just no telling exactly what's ahead. And so for me, I just refuse to take on that mentality and I refuse to... Uh, take on that mindset and I refuse to take on that attitude in my heart uh, because I really feel like saying 2020 like oh I can't wait for it to go away um, it's really kind of disregarding the blessing that it is to be alive each day and every day we are alive God has purpose for us even in the midst of trials so I want to quickly throw that out there that this is not going to be a ranting raving you know, video where I just talk about how hard things were. There were so many hard things. And if you guys have watched my channel, I was transparent all throughout this year. Um, and so you guys know if you've been around what was hard. And so I'm not going to go into that. So I watched my video last year for 2020, my goals video myself, because I honestly couldn't remember what I actually said. And that actually gave me the idea that I want to share monthly goal videos with you guys on here because I kind of make my intentions and I know them like in my heart, but then and I kind of maybe lose sight of them as the year goes on and I honestly couldn't remember what I actually said were my goals in 2020 so that goes to show you how well I uh, did at keeping them but like I said some of the intentions that I set at 2020 were really heart attitude type things and so those things I was successful with um, but some things they just completely fell off my radar so moving forward for 2021 let me know down in the comments if you guys would like to see a monthly sit down video of what my goals are or my focuses are for the month. It wouldn't be a long video, 10 minutes or less, and I would try to have it up at the beginning of the month so that if you wanted to do the same, you could follow suit. Um, let me know. I've never done that before, but I think it would hold me more accountable. And so I thought I might do that. So let me know what you guys think. Um, so when I shared my goals with you guys last year in 2020, I mentioned at the end of the video that I really couldn't think of a word. Um, I, in years previously, had thought of a, 
a thought of a word or God gave me a word, but I really couldn't think of one. But so many of you guys in the comments of that video um, said that you were hearing like surrender. And I was like, okay, I can get on board with surrender. I didn't know if that was actually what you know, the Lord was giving to me, but you guys were hearing it through what I was conveying in that video. And so I thought to myself, you know, last January, yeah, I can get on board with surrender. And then <laughs> all this happened and then it was like, okay, we're surrendering. We're surrendering everything. We are surrendered, please. Um, and I'm not making a joke of that. I just thought it was so funny. It's not funny, it's what you guys heard, and it's what the Lord was saying, but I just wasn't hearing it yet. But I think surrender last year was the appropriate word. Um, and I think 2020 caused a lot of surrender or re-surrendering things that I thought I surrendered, but I never actually did. So I wanted to touch on that, um, which I thought was pretty cool that you guys heard that and I, I, I hadn't heard that. Um, I shared last year with you guys as I recap my goals that I wanted to have an eternal mindset on things and I wanted to make sure that I was doing nothing out of um, emptiness or obligation. I wanted everything to be intentional and purpose driven and I wanted to be more eternally focused. And I could not think of a year ever in my adult life where I have been challenged more to remain focused on the things of eternity and focused on the promises of the Lord in my life. Truly, I cannot think of any other year where that has been challenged more. And so I found it pretty incredible that that was something I said and then this was the year that we all lived through. And I feel so much stronger in my faith and in um, my relationship with the Lord. And I feel so much more peace as I went through this year and had to refocus my heart on eternity and not the temporal chaos of everything going on. So I would say I did better um, at doing that, I would say I met that goal, but it wasn't on my own. It was only through the trials that 2020 brought me. Um, I mentioned to you guys that I wanted to make sure Jake and I were doing a monthly date night. And as you can probably imagine, that got pretty sticky come March. Um, we did do a lot of home intentional time together doing a fire pit and hiking and we did um get away for you know like a uh, dinner time together maybe a couple of times so i would say we were about 75 percent with the monthly date nights which is always a goal of mine um I shared in that video that I wanted to really just be an encouragement to my friends, um, both in real life and online. And I think uh, based on a lot of the feedback that I've um, received from you guys, which is why your feedback is so meaningful to me, is that I was um, a source of encouragement for you at some point this year. Uh, and I just, I'm very thankful to be uh, used in that way, uh, whether it's just encouraging you um, to know you're not alone in your thoughts or opinions on things, or if it's encouraging you to continue to homeschool, or if it's encouraging you to wake up at six in the morning and work out. Um, just anything that I share, I try to be as encouraging as I can be, um, while also being really real and honest. And I think based on the feedback that I receive from the majority of you of course I'm not everybody's cup of tea uh, but the majority of you guys do let me know that I do encourage or motivate and so I think I uh, was probably successful in that goal of mine um what else did I say last year. Oh, I shared that I wanted to work on giving my kids some more responsibility in their lives and I uh, definitely accomplished that. There's been a few small changes that I've made as far as like them making their own meals for things, which sounds trivial, but it's actually really not, um, to allowing my oldest daughter to babysit a little bit, to allowing my oldest daughter to get a cell phone, um, just instilling more trust and responsibility so that they can 
demonstrate you know they have to be given something to be trusted with in order for them to demonstrate trustworthiness and so I feel like I have delegated a little bit more responsibility I still think I could improve on that um, but at the end of the day I also have to keep my house functioning and so um, you know and every kid is different so I think I probably would count myself successful at that um, and in homeschool I shared last year that I wanted to really focus on uh, weaker areas of certain children and I think I feel I was successful at that as well so the overall theme here is that I met most of my goals some I missed some of it was um, uh, my own, uh, you know, forgetfulness or lack of focus on that area. And some of it really was part way because of the cards we were dealt this year. Um, but my, my overall 2020 attitude was that it was probably the most challenging year I've had as an adult um, in a long time. I can only think of a couple of other years in my adult life where I felt more challenged and stretched than I did this year. Um, but it was not a wasted year. A lot of really great things happened. I could go on and on and on about uh, the goodness and the faithfulness of God that I have seen. Um, but just some some topical you know surface level um blessings were that we bought our travel trailer this year so thankful for that so thankful to be able to do that um we were more generous this year we gave away more um more money than we ever have before and we were only able to do that because of the lord's blessing um on my ministry here with you guys my job here um and and just you know different decisions we've made in the past that enabled us to give very freely this year to others who were more impacted than than our family was and that was just an incredible feeling um you guys know that i did the christmas um blessing here for quite a few families and kids and i shared that with you guys but there was a lot of stuff that we did um that you know i don't share everything on here but it was just our definitely our most generous year uh we also um, we're blessed with finding a church that we could meet in person with mask free and that has been incredible um, my kids have grown in such tremendous ways I'm more committed and more anchored in my homeschooling than ever before and I could just keep going on and on and on so that does not negate the difficulty and the trials and the sadness and the fear and the worry that I also felt this year but I am leaving 2020 thankful for the year thankful for the gift of the year even with all of that yuck in there and still going on and i think as i wind down this recap video i think the most important thing that we can do as we head into 2021 is not have expectations of things returning to normal um i think that that will be a recipe for disaster and failure right out of the gate and so i want you guys to if you take any p piece of advice or hear any bit of wisdom from me that's what i'm saying so tomorrow i will put up my 2021 intentions and you guys will hear more about that but go into the year with a surrendered approach with your hands wide open and uh less clinging on to what we want and more okay god how are you going to grow me and use me this year because 2020 was a lot of opening that grip if i if if i'm being honest and i think you guys would agree with me so that's going to be it for this recap video i hope you enjoyed it if you want to see my goals it'll be up tomorrow and let me know your thoughts comments feedback on anything that i shared in this video down below give me a thumbs up i appreciate your support on my channel as we head into the new year and i will see you guys tomorrow for my 2021 goals bye guys